Hey, it's Sarah. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make puppy chow because I need to make some for work tomorrow. To make puppy chow, you'll need Chex Mix, powdered sugar, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and peanut butter. First, you need to melt the chocolate chips. So you're going to take something that can go in the microwave. This bowl is not supposed to go in the microwave, so I'll be using this. Open up your chocolate chips, pour the chips in there, and put it in the microwave until it melts. I like to do about 30 seconds at a time, and then I'll stir it as it goes just to see how it melts, because I'd hate for it to burn. Start stirring it so that it kind of helps to melt it. And if your bowl gets hot, you can always use an oven mitt. Ta-da! Because this is a little warm. Back in the microwave. So this took about a minute and a half in my microwave to melt. It's perfect now though. Liquid chocolate. Now you're gonna add the peanut butter. I'm gonna do about half of this just to make sure that I've got enough peanut butter. I suggest using a spoon to get the peanut butter out. And then kinda of stir those two things together. Make sure to clean up your fork and spoon. And set it in the sink. Lick your hand of any extra chocolate. And then remember that you're making this for work. So wash your hands again, you creep. Next, take your favorite spatula and pour the chocolate into a big bowl. And then set this aside to eat later because you will absolutely do that. Stir up that chocolate and peanut butter really good. It's important that it looks delicious. Next, you're gonna take your cereal and pour it all in here. So stir that up real good, pour in the rest of the cereal, and stir it up. You've made excellent choices. Now that you're done stirring, you're gonna divide up the Chex Mix into two different Ziploc bags so that you can pour all the powdered sugar in and then shake it up. Now that you've divided your Chex Mix into two different bags, we're gonna open up the powdered sugar and pour it into each one. So take your Ziploc bag, shut it, shake, shake, shake. And look at that, homemade puppy chow just in time to impress your coworkers with your badass baking skills. Shake up the second bag, or if you have roommates who aren't cats, have them shake it up. Yum! This is not kitty chow, Gooby. And there you go, enough puppy chow to give your coworkers a sugar-induced crash right around two o'clock. 